hello everyone so in this video we're gonna see the mosfets pinouts okay so as you can see here we have here a mosfet as you can see with eight pins this is an eight pin mosfet here we have this dot always the dot means the pin number one so we have this dot here means this is the pin number one two three four Pin number 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so the reading is in the counterclockwise. Okay, so basically, for every 8 pin MOSFET, the three first pins, I mean the pin number 1, 2, and 3, are connected together, are the source. Okay, and the fourth pin is the gate, and the other four pins. Are the drain okay so as you can see here in the circuit diagram this dot normally should be here okay so this is the pin number one two three so this is source as you can see three pins connected together this is source okay so here this is the gate as you can see the pin number four is the gate and over here we have four pins connected together okay this is drain okay so always for every mosfet the gate receive the control signal so for every mosfet it contain inside it a diode as you can see the diode between the drain and the source okay so the type of this mosfet is npn you know why because as you can see this arrow goes from source to gate when this arrow goes from source to gate means in pn but when the arrow is from gate to source okay in this direction the mosfet is pnp when this mosfet receive a control signal in the pin number four the gate so the current will pass from source to drain in this direction so as you can see here we have 4 volt so the gate receive 4 volt this is the control signal the 19 volt will pass through this diode and we will get 10 volt okay so the result is related to the control signal let's assume for example if we receive here 8 volt so we will get here 19 volt okay but if we receive for example 2 volt we will get 5 volt and so on so always the control signal is the signal that determine the result or the amount of voltage that we will get in the output okay so if you want to test this mosfet you should test between the drain and source you should use the multimeter to do buzzer option or continuity mode and put the read probe of the multimeter here as you can see you should put the, the read probe as you can see in the source okay here and the black probe here in the drain you should get a reading you know why because as you can see the diode here we have the anode and here we have the cathode or minus and plus terminal and when you inverse the probes you will not get any reading it means the mosfet is good but if you test the mosfet using the multimeter and you hear a buzzer or a continuity between drain and source means the mosfet is bad 